Hello, this is Ed from practicalnetworking.net. Welcome to another video in the Axis Control List video series. In this video, I'll be teaching you the configuration to apply an Axis List to an interface. Do you remember this slide back from video one? In this slide, we talked about how an Axis List is simply there to identify traffic, and that an Axis List by itself doesn't actually do anything. You have to apply the Axis List before it actually does something, and there are many different ways to apply the ACL. The most common of which is applying an axis list to an interface. When you apply an axis list to an interface, that axis list is referred to as a packet filter. We unpacked all of this in the first video of this series. We also talked about how you can only apply an axis list once per interface, per direction, and per protocol. So I'm going to show you the full extent of what that means. So, so far, we've only looked at the syntax for configuring axis lists. Here is the syntax for actually applying an axis list to an interface. Note that this first set of syntax is for IPv4 traffic. Either way, you would go into interface configuration mode, and then inside interface configuration mode, you'd use the command IP access group, you'd specify the ACL ID by number or name, and then you would list the direction that you mean to filter traffic for. So for our topology over here, if you wanted to apply an access list to FA00, the syntax would look like this. I'm using the command IP access group, I'm applying access list 101, and I'm having it match traffic as it's going into that interface, meaning anything being sent from the inside segment into FA00. Now for IPv6, the command is largely similar, but it looks a little different. The only difference is simply the first part, the actual command. In V6, again, you would go into interface configuration mode, and then the command to apply an access list is IPv6 traffic filter. And then you would again specify the ID number and the direction. So for our interface over here, it would look like this. Here, we are using the command IPv6 traffic filter to tell the router that we are applying an access list. The access list we are applying is the one that we called pracnet underscore v6, and we are again applying it in direction in, so it's matching any traffic going in to that interface. So that's the syntax to apply an access list to an interface. Now notice, in one interface, we've applied two access lists, one for each protocol, in a single direction. Both of them are direction in. If we wanted to max out every single way we could apply an access list to interface FA00, we would simply have to add two more access lists covering direction out. Here we're adding another IPv4 access list, filtering traffic coming out of FA00, and here we're adding another IPv6 access list, filtering traffic going out of FA00. Both of those ACLs are matching traffic as they're coming out of FA00. So theoretically, that would be anything the internet is sending to our inside hosts. And that is the most number of access lists you can configure on a single interface. You are matching out every possibility of that line. And so that wraps up this video discussing how to apply access list to an interface. In the next video, we'll be answering the age-old question of where should you apply your access list? Specifically, we're going to unpack the ideas of applying access lists closer to the source or closer to the destination. But that's it for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video where we discuss the best place to apply access lists.